by World News. Authorities are warning of a major disaster in Texas, and as Ginger said, not just the winds, but possible record setting floods. With no steering currents, Harvey isn't going anywhere. Once it hits, it will be there for days. ABC senior national correspondent Matt Gubbin live in Corpus Christi, Texas tonight. And Matt, what are you seeing already? It's not just about seeing, it's about feeling this storm, David. Hard to stand up in this wind and the rain is coming down. And what seems like rivers incredibly, there are still people on the roads here now. Harvey's really beginning to sink its teeth into this part of Texas. But this is just a jab, the full punch. Is still coming. Harvey is smashing into the Gulf Coast tonight, packing ferocious wind, an ocean of water, and officials say deadly potential. It's the most powerful storm to hit the U.S. in over a decade, and from space, you can see the monster storm sprawling over the Gulf, already spawning tornado warnings. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Pushing a mountain of water before it, that storm surge plowing into Padre Island. Winds stripping bark from trees in Port O'Connor. About 11.30 here, and the wind is really picking up. The rain coming down hard, pelting you. It feels like they're little needles pounding your eyes at this point. And the hurricane is still probably 100 miles out. And this massive storm is still intensifying. Texas's governor activating 1,300 National Guard troops, opening enough shelters to house 41,000 evacuees. We can obviously tell already at this stage, this is going to be a very major disaster. Officials in Rockport warning staying could mean dying. Those that are going to stay uh, is unfortunate, but they should make some type of preparation to, to mark their arm with a, with a Sharpie pen, put their... Uh, uh, social security number on it. We drove there earlier this afternoon. This is Rockport, Texas. This is one of the towns that's going to get hit hardest. And you can see house after house completely boarded up. This place is a ghost town. FEMA warning this could be a very significant disaster for Texas as President Trump was briefed in the Oval Office. With just hours before landfall, shelves all over the storm zone are bare. Evacuation routes choked those trying to flee. This is the line to get gas. Absolute insanity over this hurricane. Those traffic jams at gas stations not letting up. Some pumps even running out of fuel. Hurricane hunters tracking wind speeds near the eye, topping 130 miles per hour. The storm, a major hurricane. 10 million people now under watches and warnings, but landfall is only the beginning. Some spots expected to get a 12-foot storm surge and nearly three feet of rain. Corey Davis and her family boarding up, fearful that the wall of water could devastate Port O'Connor. I'm scared, so I'm going to do everything that I can to protect our little place down here and hope and pray for the best. It's the kind of deluge that Danielle and William Weeks hoped to flee. Does it make you nervous seeing what's going on outside your window? Yeah, I'm very nervous. And what about your home? Yeah. We, uh, we actually live in an RV, so we unfortunately had to leave it on wow. the island. So we're pretty worried that we won't have a home to go back to. They could only get as far as Corpus Christi because Danielle is due for a C-section here on Tuesday. It's all they could do to hide their anguish from their two little girls. Tens of thousands of Texas residents ordered to flee, but some, like Janice Moore, staying behind, believing her home is stronger than Harvey. I feel like most residents do need to leave because they don't know what they're doing, but I feel like I do know what I'm doing. Harvey is expected to sit over the Gulf Coast, pummeling it for days, with effects felt for hundreds of miles. After Texas's governor indicated people in Houston should evacuate, Houston's mayor told residents to stay put for now. In 2005, when nearly 2.5 million residents choked evacuation routes ahead of Hurricane Rita, more than 100 people died in what became a massive traffic jam. All right, so let's get back to Matt Gutman live tonight. Obviously, we can see the winds, Matt, and the temperatures of the water there behind you in the Gulf really fueling Harvey tonight. That's right, David. Now, at this time of year, the water is always warm in the Gulf of Mexico. You see it roiling behind me. This year, it's abnormally warm. 
87 degrees, some of the warmest water in the on the planet, and that is turbocharging this storm, bringing all this wind and fueling this moisture. David, 87 degrees in the water. Right, Matt Gutman live. Matt, thank you.